Once again, we are back, Flashback Fever Radio. And of course, Ooh. this is the final episode of season three, y'all. Like I said, I'm going to take a break and come back because I got to figure out how I'm going to bring you a more powerful season four. And I need some time to think. I got Chef Izzy with me tonight. We talking about the golden era of hip hop. We trying to reach out and, and teach each one, teach one type of thing. You know what I'm saying? So um, tonight, we cannot talk about the golden era or talk about the jungle brothers without inviting a special guest on c frequency tonight live on the celly tonight we got mike g of the jungle brothers give it up y'all come on uh, uh, uh. One, two, one, two, one, two, one, two, zulu peace to the god peace our key mike g peace our key i keep peace all right i keep peace man how are you Oh, very really good, man. Everything is good. Okay, okay, okay. So, um, you know, we got some questions to ask you. I got people in my chat room right now, and they want to relive this golden era, this fine era of hip hop. So, we got some questions for you. Up for it? No doubt. All right, here we go. Here we go. Check this out. Question number one that I ask everybody: What inspired you to get into hip hop? Oh, well, I was living hip hop. <laughs> Uh, from the early days, um, being able to tag behind my uncle, going to the Zulu Nation jams, the Bronx River. I mean, that's all we knew. It was school, the train, and hip hop. <laughs> all right, all right, all right. So now, what does the term, if you was living it like that, what does the term B boy mean to you? Ooh. Well, B boy is somebody who encompasses the hip hop culture. Um, you either break dancing, uh, writing graffiti, uh, rapping or DJing. Okay. All right. All right. Now, how, like when, when you started rapping, it was just like you said, it was a, like an automatic feeling, right? Cause you was just already living it. Yeah, no doubt. All right. Did you try to explore any of the other elements of hip hop? Well, yeah, no doubt. For my early part, I used to like write, I used to bomb. I can't say I was a big, uh, I wasn't like Scheme or right. Don did one of those guys doing burners, but I like to, I like to see my name and graffiti on the wall. I used to just bomb all over the place, school, <laughs> hit the three trains, the one trains, me and my man C1, FBK. So, yeah, that was my first, I guess, one of my first loves. In the hip-hop culture it's my first addiction <laughs> okay all right all right all right so now how did you hook up to be part of the jungle brothers like hey now you got your rapping doing going on you got your name how did you hook up for y'all to be the jungle brothers well let's see uh, jungle brothers formed when we um got in high school um i think uh Let's see, I got in high school in 84, 84, 85. So at that time I was laying back, wasn't really bombing that much. I was laying back, kind of writing more rhymes. And uh, when I got in high school, it really gave me more of an outlet. And during that summer, Sammy B and I hooked up and we would go to all the block parties around Harlem, trying to get on the set. So we was able to get on a couple of sets and that's what really warmed me up. And then uh, by the time I got to high school, I was ready to rock. And I met Af, and uh, we was getting into a talent show. He needed a partner, I needed a partner. It was about seven of us. So uh, we all was in the cypher spin. Next thing you know, me and Af just clicked, and we just stayed together. I introduced him to Sam, and not too long after that, we got the name. We put the name together, Jungle Brothers. I, I don't mean to cut you off, and but how, from there. How, how did y'all come up with that name, Jungle Brothers? Because sometimes the name is well, important. It's crazy. At that time, I was living in Left Rack City, and uh, me and Af was on the phone trying to build, trying to trying to get a name. Like, yo, we got to get something that's gonna be always original in the hip hop spirit, and it's got to be able to say where we from and stay in the test of time so jungle came oh jungle came up because i was looking out the window and they was just brawling in the street and i was like yo it's a jungle out there right now yo they wild and they fighting in the street 
And so we we pondered that. We was like, Jungle Posse, Jungle Crew. It's like, nah, yo, Jungle Brothers. <laughs> <laughs> no doubt. Because, yo, Crew was definitely big back then, and so was the word Posse. Yeah. <laughs> That's interesting right there. Um, so, okay, now y'all got your group together. How did you come about you know, getting your record deal? Um, we kind of stumbled upon it. You know, like I said, about 84, 85, we was doing the talent shows, and we had a couple of years to go. So we did the talent shows every year, did the talent shows, and did the, um, I forget what the other, like the, um, it's like a regular show they would put together for high school. And we gathered a little bit of a name. So uh, weekdays, holidays, we'd be at AFCRIB making demos, uh, just putting it in, putting for dropping freestyles. At that time, Red was getting his name on um, KR, on um, KISS. Right, right. And um, he heard a couple of joints, and he was like, yo, I'm feeling that. And he played it, and... From that point on, people just started talking, and one thing led to another. We had a couple of indie studios. Uh, we went to uh, Jack the J studio. We dropped our first demo, it's the breaks, and then we went to um, Coney Island with uh, Coney Dick and dropped the infamous Jimbrowski. Yeah. And then we was, we was uh-huh. rolling from there. Okay, okay. So, like, uh, what was... Was bragging and boasting like the first joint y'all did together that actually got airplay? Yeah. Okay. All yep. right. Was what what was Jim Browski like? What number two or five or six? No, it was like two. It was wow. Because um, it was actually the single was Jim Browski and bragging and boasting was the B side. Okay. 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 All right. All right. All right. Um, to my people in the chat room right now, if you're just tuning in, and we got Mike G from the Jungle Brothers. On the C frequency right now. Um, you can ask them some questions. So my people in the chat room hit me with some questions for Mike G. Right now I got Chef Izzy in the building co-hosting with me tonight. What's your question, Chef Izzy? What's up, Mike G? Peace, man. Yo, yeah, what up, Chef? Peace. All right, man. Check it out. I, I want to know what what was it like back then being part of the native tongue and working with those brothers and sisters, especially like. You know Queen Latifah and them. What, what was what was what was up with that? Well, it was funny. It was um you know when we was like the start of it was we came out and then Daylock came out with Plug Tune in and Chip was always there in the wing. He was there when we recorded like Black is Black. It was actually his concept. It was his, and then we did the well first we did the promos then we then we did Black is Black. And then after that, that's when we met Dayla, and people already started associating with us, but because we was coming out with such a different type of style. Um, not too long after that, we went on tour in Europe. Um, you may know that Mark Forty Five King and Red had a really great relationship, so they polyed and was like, "Yo, they, we want to get um, Latifa on this tour." So she was rolling with us, and. Things just rolled together like a little family because it was like six degrees of separation. The hip hop community was a little bit smaller. And um, even though Daylight was from Long Island, once we met each other, we met each other in like a show in DC and it would just automatically click. And it's hard to say, it's like, it was so long, but it went by so fast. So uh, it's hard to say, but it was a great time period, and I'll look for many more days to come. Okay. okay. All right. Okay. You got another question? Yeah, one more question. Um, <clears throat> I think it was it was so much needed back then, and it's so much needed here again today. But for a song like "Buddy" to come out, I mean, that that was that was some serious sex education back then. <laughs> You know, <laughs> and it was done in such a creative way. I mean, what brought True. that about? True. Oh, well, that was that was Dayla all day. They was always trying to. Uh, how can I say? Put funky terminology into a song to say it was something that we was all doing to a certain extent. But they like really branded it and put it into their language and made it their own, and they invited us in. You know, so 
it's all no all love today. Okay. Today, La. That's good. That's good. Now we were trying to um remember the 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 your 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 debut mu movie that you uh you and Bam were in back in the day. Oh wow. <laughs> yeah, I can really remember that. That was um Oh my goodness. What? Juice? Nah. No, nah, it wasn't juice. Okay, okay. It was, it was, it was a little I can't comedy, that right? right now. I should have got, should have got the questions Strictly earlier. Right? <laughs> Strictly business. Oh man, that's bad. Wasn't... I can't even remember. But it was. I remember it was filmed down in Atlanta, uh -huh. and we had a great time. Um, uh, we got. I got to come back on that one. That's, that's killing me. <laughs> was it? Was it strictly business? Was Tommy Davis? No, nah, it wasn't strictly nah. Christmas. Nah. It was the other movie. <laughs> oh, see, now I'm stuck. Gotcha. <laughs> all right. All right, all right, all right. So now um, at this moment, Mike G, we're going to play yep. a video. I want to give okay. the, my people in the chat room a chance to check out because I got it like that. Oh, that's what's up. You know what I mean? So we're going to play that for the people. We can scrape the internet. You know what I mean? We can go out there and All grab right. it off the internet somewhere. So that's what we do. We RadioScene.com. We real live with technology right now. So we're going to scrape the internet and show our people. So hold on tight. We're going to come back to you with a few more questions. To my people in the chat room, if you got questions, line them up. We're going to come back the second half with Mike G from the Jungle Brothers, y'all. <laughs> Standing next to me Left or right side, take your pick But girl, you got to make it quick Baby, baby, baby I know I drive you crazy MCs know me as my chick Girls, hold on to me tightly Warm personality That's why they get close to me Try their best to drive me While say they want to bear my child I go away, they say come back Why? Why? Because I gotta like that Yeah Ha <laughs> ha! 